daughters, dear sisters, honored guests, parishioners of St. Morris Parish, former parishioners, friends, brothers and sisters in Christ. In introducing those who have shepherded you, shepherded you over the years, those who are here present, I omis, omitted to mention Sister Pauline Legasse, who was parish minister here for a number of years and was in that position when I came to the Archdiocese. Our Sunday celebration of Eucharist is always a liturgy of praise and thanksgiving. But this theme is brought into sharper focus today as we joyfully celebrate the 100th anniversary of the parish of St. Morris. The centenary of a parish, a community of believers who have been united in faith, in love, and in collaborative, collaborative service to one another and to the broader community, is certainly an occasion for joyful and grateful. It is a time for reminiscing, savoring good memories of peoples and events that have touched our lives, a time for gratitude to God and for justifiable pride and satisfaction in our accomplishments. The residents of Bellegarde, relatives and friends, who have moved to many other parts of Saskatchewan and even beyond can look back 100 years with pride and gratitude today and thank God to the pioneer family who settled this territory and the civic and religious leaders who molded them into a strong cultural and spiritual community. The pioneers left a legacy of hard work, endurance, collaboration, spiritual values, social and cultural concerns, and the importance of family. I have read a history of this parish, but will not even attempt to summarize it. There are so many important names and important events, important developments over the past 100 years. You have your own family lore and a great fund of anecdotes and memories. I would like to mention, though, that 1898 was a banner year for Bellegarde and for the parish of St. Morris. Settlers had been arriving in this area from 1888, but in 1898, a small chapel was constructed and Father Napoleon Poulain became the first resident pastor with a congregation of 110 families spread out over a vast region. In that year, postal service was established and so Bellegarde had a place on the map. I have a friend who lives in Edmonton, but was born here in Bellegarde. Her name is Marie Guerin, granddaughter of Jean-Baptiste Moreau, the first pioneer to spend winters here with his family. Marie's brother, John Joseph Moreau, wrote the following article in 1972. I would like to read a few paragraphs from it. He writes, Pioneer is a noble name, only second to mother. Ambitious and young, they came from Belgium and France, leaving their neighbors, friends, and loved ones, taking many days to cross the ocean for an unknown land. They built sawed and log houses, bought a quarter section for $10, each thinking he was rich. Patient oxen, they turned furrows, fighting hordes of mosquitoes, 
and sent back for the girl who would make their house a home. They had a garden, a few hands, and a pig, and worked with not an hour to, to lose. There were babies born and no doctors. Hail damaged the crop when it was ready to cut. Grasshoppers destroyed the rest. Army worms saw files and rust, and in 10 years the air filled with dust. In the winter, strong winds blew and blizzards raged with 30 to 40 degrees below. Still, a school, a church, and a rectory were built. The church provided comfort for one's home. And then he goes on, Many years ago, Grandfather Morrow said, We work so hard, all of us, to build this parish of St. Maurice. When I die, I will give them each a little corner of my land, so in death we will all be together like we were during our lives. And I understand he contributed land for the cemetery, also for the church, and for the rectory. And he addresses those who will follow him. And addresses those who went before him. Dear pioneers, your reward on this earth will be all your children and grandchildren. And I couldn't help but notice coming in down the aisle this morning how many little babies and little children are here today. His wishes being fulfilled still. He goes on, your family, they stand like a living monument. In every corner of St. Morris, you will see all those markers of your beloved family, your home once so dear to your heart. I hope someday in this little village of St. Morris, we can see a monument or cairn to your memory so the future generation can say with pride, here is a parish that once had real pioneers. And I understand that this afternoon, several cairns will be unveiled. Undoubtedly, the parish church of St. Morris holds very personal and moving memories for many parishioners. The priests will remember their part in building up the parish. I believe Father Tupin built the church, and then a year or so later, it was, the interior was destroyed by fire and he had the work of renovating and uh, making the church presentable again. In this church, couples sealed their love for one another in sacramental marriage and brought their children to be initiated into the life of Christ and membership in the church through the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist. Here, hearts and memories found healing and peace in the sacrament of reconciliation. Here, in funeral liturgies, loved ones were commended to the mercy and goodness of God. Faith and hope were strengthened, and comfort derived from the prayers and support of fellow parishioners. Here, Sunday after Sunday for 100 years, Parishioners gathered to hear the word of God, to share their concerns, and to strengthen the bonds of friendly relationships. I couldn't begin to tell all the wonderful stories that you people can tell to one another. And so I wish you God's blessing as you face a new century and a new millennium and continue to build your faith community and to serve the church, not only locally, but in your deanery, in the archdiocese, and contribute to the church worldwide by your faith, your love, your virtue, your focus on Christian values that relate to family, to worship, to compassion, and to sharing the great many gifts
that God has given you. May this anniversary inspire you to look ahead with confidence, united in Christ-like love, building up the parish community on the foundations and structures of faith established over the past 100 years. May God bless you all in this enterprise.